Good morning. My name is Whitney Fontler. I'm one of the associate pastors here at Westminster. This morning, I um, just want to honor the poetic work of uh, slain rapper Tupac Shakur. Uh, his birthday was yesterday. Uh, very, uh, very instrumental figure in my life as a young person and um, continues to be instrumental in the life of young people. Um, I'm thinking specifically of my nephew who uh, during Christmas was just handing me Tupac fa facts after Tupac facts. Um, so before I read uh, some of his words from uh, his book, The Rose That Grew From Concrete, um, I want to first start from, uh, by reading Isaiah 11, 6 through 19. Or sorry, 6 through 9. The wolf shall live with the lamb. The shepherd shall lie down with the kid. The calf and the lion and the fatling together and a little child shall lead them. The cow and the bear shall graze. Their young shall lie down together, and the lion shall eat straw like the ox. The nursing child shall play over the hole of the asp, and the weaned child shall put its hand on the adder's den. They will not hurt or destroy on all my holy mountain. The earth will be the, for the earth will be full of the knowledge of the Lord as the waters cover the sea. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. So I want to talk a little bit about the importance of this book, uh, just in, um, in view of what's coming ahead. So uh, Sunday is Father's Day. Um, my father gave me this book for Christmas. It's probably one of my most cherished um, gifts from my dad. Uh, many of you know my dad passed away um, almost three years ago now. Um, and he, at the time, he gave me this book when I was a freshman in high school. He was, uh, he had not, uh, he had not yet been molded into somebody that appreciated hip hop. So I felt like uh, this was a pretty bold gift for him. So the first, from him, so the first poem I'm going to read um, by, by Tupac is, um, I think it's also, it's, on, uh, it's called And Tomorrow. Listen now to his words. Today is filled with anger, fueled with hidden hate, scared of being outca outcast, afraid of common fate. Today is built on tragedies, which no one wants to face, nightmares to humanities and morally disgraced. Tonight is filled with rage, violence in the air, children bred with ruthlessness because no one at home cares. Tonight I lay my head down, but the pressure never stops, gnawing at my sanity, content when I am dropped. But tomorrow I see change, a change to build anew, built on spirit, intent of heart, and ideals based on truth. And tomorrow I wake with second wind and strong because of pride to, I, to know I fought with all my heart to keep my dream alive. We'll close in prayer with his poem entitled, God, Let Us Pray. God, when I was alone and had nothing, I asked for a friend to help me bear the pain no one came except God. When I needed a breath to rise from my sleep, no one could help me except God. When all I saw was sadness and I needed answers, no one heard me except God. So when I'm asked who I give my unconditional love to, look for no other name except God. Amen. 